our first goal is to figure out how much would it takes to build our project, such as this table. The first thing we need to understand is what will be our unit of measurement. Other examples of unit of measurement include if you're baking a cake, okay, you need to work with cups, teaspoons, tablespoons. If you're driving your car, okay, we measure the length that we travel in miles. If we need to fill up our car, we measure in gallons. So what unit of measurement do we use to determine how much wood we need to build this project? The answer is board feet. Haven't heard of it? You're probably not alone. So this is a board foot. It measures one inch thick, 12 inches wide, by 12 inches long. Simply, it's a one inch thick board that's a foot by a foot. A board foot. That's so simple. Now, I have a board hand. And board students. So how many board feet does it take to build the table I showed you? Well, let's start simple with this scrap piece. How many board feet make up this piece? Well, as you can see, it's not even a full board foot. It's smaller than a board foot. So we need to break it down into smaller measurements. Then we can convert it back to board feet. What smaller measurement makes up a foot? Inches, yes, good job. So let's measure this board in inches. It measures 8 and 5 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths. Now as you can see, the board's width and length did not measure even inches. They were fractions of the inch. So let's keep our math simple and let's always round to the nearest inch. So anything less than one half will round down. Anything greater than or equal to one half will round up. Thus, eight and five eighths by 11 and seven eighths will become nine by 12. Now the thickness of this board is seven eighths. Remember that a board foot measures one inch by 12 by 12. So a true board foot measures one inch thick. But most of the lumber that we bring in is only seven eighths thick. So do we multiply by seven eighths or one inch? Well, the simple answer is to round to the nearest inch, just like we did for width and length. But there's a better reason we go with one inch thickness than just because it's easier math. The reason is because when the board was cut out of a log, it was one inch thick. But rather than have a rough board like this, where it's difficult to see how rich the color it might have, we pay to have the board surfaced on two sides down to seven eighths thick. Thus, one sixteenth is taken off both sides even before we see the board. But what we bought was a one inch thick board. So now we have our measurements. One inch thick by nine inches by 12 inches. But how do we calculate board feet? Well, the answer is in the wording. Notice I use the word by. By is just another word for multiplication. So we simply multiply 1 times 9 times 12. This gives us square inches on a surface of a 1 inch board. But we're not measuring in square inches, we want board feet. Well, if you look at the example of this board foot, there's a curve mark every inch going both ways. After all, it's 12 inches by 12 inches, 1 foot by 1 foot. So I'll give you one guess on how many squares there are in this board foot. 144, very good. 12 times 12, 144. So to convert, all we have to do is divide by 144. So to put it all together, we're going to take our thickness of 1 inch times our width of 9 inches times our length of 12 divided by 144 to convert from square inches to board feet and that leaves us with 0.75 just to do the math 1 times 9 times 12 divided by 144 equals 0.75 so that would be three quarters of a board foot and if you look at it this board is about three quarters of this full board foot so that leaves us with the following equation. Now we've been working with just one board, but if we had multiple boards, we'd want to make sure we record the number of pieces 
times the thickness times the width times the length divided by 144 gives us our needed board feet.